So I have my piece here, four inches long, and I'm going to fold half an inch in from either end there. I'm going to use a whoops, small piece of my favorite thing, double-sided tape. If I can get it to unstick. There we go. So I'm going to fold this in half an inch. The raw edge and the other side. Fold that in half an inch. Okay, so that's your piece. Now the way this is going to work is it's going to fold around the outside of the pouch here with the D-ring attached like that. Now, one way that you can do it is to punch the hole straight through the exterior and through the lining, and then your rivet would be just right there. I like to hide my rivet, so I'm gonna mark it up, and then I'm gonna show you how I do that so that the rivet is hidden. So I like that position there. So I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to mark that and mark that underneath. Then I'm going to measure to make sure that looks right. It should be about an inch from my seam. And yep, that's pretty close. The same on the other side. So it's usually it's about an inch down, inch in and an inch down. Now this one is a little bit less, but as long as it's the same on both sides. So this is three quarters of an inch down, seven eighths of an inch in. So I'll do the same measurement on this side three quarters of an inch down, seven eighths in. It's kind of tricky to see. So just make my mark there. And now pull my lining out, coming in through the hole there. I'm going to put my holes in for my rivet. Now, I tend to poke a guide hole first and what you can do to really make sure that they're lined up is keeping anything out of the way like your pocket if you have one make sure it's just those two and then you can take your hole and you can just poke it through is this going to make it through all of these layers that's not going to make it all the way through this extra pokey one. Okay, poke that through there. So I've got my holes here. And then I use one of these. So I'll line that up again. Make sure it's lined up. I'm just going to punch that hole through all the layers there to make sure that it's lined up on both sides. Okay, so now I've got my holes punched, but I'm going to put my rivets through and then make sure that this is lined up here. Wrap that around to the other side. Make sure I'm happy with that, and then I'm going to punch that hole there, just making sure that it's in the middle. I don't even have one marked in on this side, in the middle, and then just measure to make sure that the distance from the edge is the same. It's a quarter of an inch. It's a quarter of an inch too, so it's the same. Just gonna 
grab my rivets. All right, I've got my rivets. Something else that I like to do is just press my rivet over where it's going to go just to make sure that I'm happy with how it looks. And that seems like it's got enough space. So now I'm gonna punch that hole here too. And on the other side. Okay, and then I'm going to attach one side. I don't wanna forget that there. So that's there. Put my cap on the back. Now, when I take this over to my press, I'm going to make sure that I'm going around the bag here. If you can see where my hand is, that's where the press is going to go. So it's just going through the exterior of the bag. It's not going through the lining at all. So I'm going to go and just pop that in. Okay, so that's one side riveted on with the D-ring on there. Bring that around to the other side. Pop your other rivet through. Make sure you're happy with it. And then you just want to pop your cap on the other side. Then I'm just going to press that in as well. So now it's there, both sides, and then I will close that lining up momentarily, but just for the moment, I'll just tuck it in. You can see the rivets are not through the lining. They're just right here, but they're just through the exterior, so you don't have them in the lining of your pouch. Then you can see you have your D-ring attached there. Grab your strap, and there you have it. And now I'm going to go and close up that lining, and then I'm gonna take it over to my ironing board, and I'm going to press these seams a little more with my ironing board. And then this one will be all done too. All right, thanks everyone.